what's up everyone, it's Cheshire here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Kaladesh pre-release pack. Uh, I went and did the Kaladesh pre-pre-pre-release uh, last night, which is the media pre-release, and it was a ton of fun. I can tell you right now, vehicles matter. Uh, this set for Limited is pretty cool. I'll just show you the packaging here. As you can see, there's a security device that's part of the box. I'll explain that in just a second. Alright. So... Security tab. Something we haven't really seen before, uh, so far as I'm aware, but this box is gorgeous. And Wizards just seem to keep putting out these just amazing, gorgeous looking boxes, uh, which is fantastic. I'd assume this is so people can't reseal them, but I don't know. Um, but you push that in, open it up. Now, a lot of people are gonna do something here and let's put those face down. They're going to do things here, and they're not going to realize what they're actually doing. So, you see this? Yeah. Come on, come out. Come out and play little dice box. How cute is that? It's just a cute little dice box. that you can put your dice in. Just a little novel idea, really. You'll probably never use it, but it's cute. Anyway. So, the usual dividey that you get. A thopter that you can build in a variety of different ways. Uh, this is a little pop-out kit. Uh, I... It'll take you a while to construct if you like me. Little congratulations notes. Because we've accepted your entry into the Inventors Fair. Which is great. Yay. And Desert's the head judge, which is uh, not concerning at all. How to build your sealed deck. What do we get? Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Um, if vehicles matter, <laughs> uh, your deck's going to be filled with artifacts, but vehicles definitely matter. Uh, vehicles are a bit of a big, big, big thing. Chandra. I don't even know what that character is. I'm so bad at this today. Alright. So you're going to get your dice, your promo, your six boosters, your little, hey, this is, this is, some tips on how to build your deck um, and it was look it was a lot of fun so let's just get to cracking some boosters because it's Kaladesh time all right do we go straight to the back do we go straight to the back uh, I think we'll skip all the commons again as per usual um, oh Except Reckless Fireweaver, which is amazing in certain red decks, by the way. Uh, that was my deck last night. I was playing red-blue because I cracked Chandra, um, which was amazing. Alright. So, Wisp Weaver Angel. Six converted mana cost, flying... When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target creature you control and then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Yeah, it's alright. To flyer. Giraper Guide. CMC3. For three, target creature you control can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. That's pretty cool. Ceremonious Rejection. Counter target color spell for one blue. That's pretty amazing. And Marionette Master. Fabricate three. Now, fabricate means exactly what it says here on the card. So, either this creature is going to end to the battlefield. Either this creature is going to end to the battlefield with uh, three plus one plus one counters, or you can put three one one colorless servo artifact creature tokens onto the battlefield, which are great for vehicles. For crewing your vehicles. So, kididinya. 
Uh, whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to the marionette master's power. Pretty cool. New emblem looks great. As emblems usually do. Now, if you've been hiding under a rock, there is some new cards in this set, and they will be in every new set called the Master Craft Master Collection. Yeah, Master something or other. Um, and they're one in every four boxes. We saw two cracked at the pre release here in Melbourne, Australia last night, which was fantastic. Um, you can imagine that people were pretty happy. Uh, one of them was Lightning Greaves. Uh, and the other one was, uh, what was it? It was the Enchantment Helm. It was alright. Uh, so we've got a Blister Charger. Whenever it attacks, it deals 1 damage to target creature or player. 5 for a 6-6. Six, six. This one, not, not my favourite. <clears throat> Disappearing Act has an additional cost, uh, cost to cast. So for CMC3... As an additional cost to cast Disappearing Act, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand, counter target spell. Good old Creeping Mold is back. So CMC4, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. And ooh, Architect of the End Untamed, or as I like to call it, look at me make beasties. So whenever I land into the battlefield under your control, you get an energy. Pay. What is it? Seven energy? Eight energy? Eight energy. Create a 6-6 six, six colorless beast artifact creature token. It's alright. And there's one of your servos. So my pull from last night was actually pretty strong. Um, I only splashed blue. It was mainly just a red artifact deck. Uh, which is interesting because it's been a long time since we've been able to do anything like that. Or at least from memory. Alright, so what do we got here? Demolition Stomper. CMC6. Demolition Stomper can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. It's 10-7 with crew 5. Yeah, yeah it's, it's alright, I guess. It doesn't have trample. Red can give it trample. There's awesome, awesome cards in red that do that. Um, Shrewd Negotiation, CMC5, Exchange Control, Target Artifact you control, and Target Artifact or Creature you don't control. Pretty cool. Hey, Ether Hub, that's what I want to see. This is a fantastic uncommon. When Ether Hub enters the battlefield, you get one energy. Uh, you can tap it to add one colors to your mana pool, or tap it and pay one energy, and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This is going to show up in a lot of decks. It's going to be very strong. Ah, oh, sweet. Inventor's Fair. At the beginning of your upkeep, you control three or more artifacts. You gain one life. So it's basically metal craft, but we won't go there. Uh, add one colorless to your mana pool. You can foreign sacrifice the Inventor's Fair to search your library for an artifact card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Activate this ability only if you control three or more artifacts. I think that's the first Inventor's Fair I've seen, I've seen pulled out of this particular pool. Get straight to the uncommons. So what have we got here? Hazardous conditions. So two black, green, or CMC4 as I've been saying. Creatures with no counters on them get minus two, minus two until end of turn. That's pretty cool. In sealed environment, I can imagine that, that that's all right. Uh, this guy is massively cool. Uh, guy, girl, robot thing, doesn't matter. Well, will make it for three converted mana cost. Uh, it's just an artifact. Oh. But four and tap, create a one, one colorless thopter artifact creature token with flying. This, this one with Sony games. So many games. Quicksmith Genius, so red and two or CMC3. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Three for a three, two. Not bad. 
Ah, Pianola. When Pianola enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying. For red and 1, target artifact creature gets plus 1 plus 0 until the end of turn. Or 1 and sacrifice an artifact, target creature can't block this turn. Pretty cool. Hey, built to smash. This is the one that gives trample. That's shiny and beautiful. So for one red, it's an instant, which makes it... You could use it as a combat trick if you really needed to, if you were desperate, but you want to play it in a real hyper-aggressive artifact deck, uh, preferably with uh, the flying skiffs and things like that, the uh, vehicles. So target attacking creature gets plus three, plus three into the end of turn. If it's an artifact creature, it grains trample. That's pretty cool. We're almost at the end here. This is going to be longer than my usual 10 minutes, so I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, it's Kaladesh. Get right to the back here. Alright, great. So, Ether Torch Renegade, red and two. When the Renegade enters the battlefield, you get four energy counters. You can tap it, pay two energy and it deals one damage to target creature, or you can tap it and you can pay a crap load of energy, eight energy, and it'll do six damage to target player. That will close out games. That will seriously just close out games. Uh, Aetherboard Rogue. Uh, Contraband Kingpin. Black and a blue, lifelink. Lifelink, interesting, on a black and blue. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. It's all right. I wouldn't play it, generally speaking. Uh, refurbish. White and three colors. Return target artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then we've got Ether Squall Agent. We have flying at the beginning of your upkeep. You get three energy. Pay. What is that? Eight energy. Return all other creatures to their owner's hands. Activate this anytime you can cast a sorcery. That is the bomb diggity. Bomb diggity bomb. Last pack. Something very shiny back there and I don't want to see it. Because it's going to be a letdown. I haven't had really good luck. All right. Fretwork Colony, black and one. Creature Insect, uh, Colony can't block. It's a one one at the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one, plus one counter on the colony and you lose one life. Um, yeah, that sounds all right, but I don't like the idea of, of losing life, to be honest. <clears throat> long Tusk Cub. Whenever Long Tusk Cub deals, deals <laughs> Damage to a player, combat damage, you get two energy. Oh yeah, sorry, green and one. Uh, pay two energy, put a plus one, plus one counter on the cub. Uh, I think in my recent article I got this wrong. I think I said that when it came into play. Um, That's my bad. I just thought about that this morning. Oh yeah, so stickytrigger.com. Go to stickytrigger.com and have a look at my, uh, my uh, energy deck. It's a red-green aggro deck, because you are going to see it once this set goes live. <clears throat> Consoles Shield Guard, three colors, one white. When the Shield Guard enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Whenever the Shield Guard attacks, you may pay one energy. And if you do, another target attacking creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. Another. Not itself. Another. Mmm. Iffy. Hey, that's what we want to see. Paradoxical Outcome, which is going to be interesting and standard when people have already started to break it in a combat deck, uh, combo deck. For blue and three, instant, return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control from the... Uh, the uh, 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 hmm. Paradoxical Outcome, three colors and one blue, return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control to their owner's hands. Draw a card for each card returned in this way. And then, oh, we've got Midnight Oil. Because the, the band was horrible. 
Uh, two black and two colorless. Midnight oil enters the battlefield with seven hour counters on it. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card and remove two hour cards, hour counters from midnight oil. Your maximum hand size is equal to the number of counters on midnight oil. Whenever you discard a card, you lose one life. Just sounds like you want to donate it to your opponent, doesn't it? Quite frankly. There you have it. That is a Kaladesh pre-release kit. Pre-release is on this weekend, uh, 24th, 25th of September, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, and it is going to be a lot of fun. As I said, artifacts matter, vehicles matter. Um, which is interesting because in this particular sealed pool, there obviously wasn't that much uh, going for it vehicle-wise. Uh, but the steam engine and stuff like that, oh, the Renegade steam engine, I think it's called. It was one of the ones I was playing last night, and it was just fabulous. It's just amazing. Uh, this set is a lot of fun to play in Limited. Uh, I can't wait to actually play Draft with this set and see how that plays out. But I can tell you right now, this is shaping up to be one of my most favorite sets ever. And that's not something I would say lightly. I have been playing for a very long time, and I really, really enjoy this. Anyway... That's it for me today. Uh, I am going to go and get some sleep because I'm quite hungover and I need uh, coffee and sushi as well. So enjoy the rest of your week and uh, I hope you get great pulls at the, at the pre-releases. Uh, I know I'm going to be attending pre-releases this weekend as well. So yeah, keep cracking packs. Like my videos, like them, subscribe, Hit the subscribe button, you know you want to. Hit it.